This morning in the Roadshow Kitchen, well, we've actually kind of left our own kitchen because it's getting an, a nice little facelift there. We've headed to KCCNE with Chef Nick Raybar from Avenue N and the Pantry. Two great spots, and I'll tell you what, what we're, what we're making today is one of my yeah. favorite things to order That's, on the menu. Thank you. Yeah, and I don't always do off-the-menu stuff, mm -hmm. you know, but this is one of those dishes that I'm, I've been asked so many times. you got to give me the recipe. you got to give me the recipe. So today we're going to share that. And incredible what recipe. is the recipe yeah. for? Kung Pao Brussels sprouts. Kung, Kung Pao. Pao Brussels sprouts, okay? Yes. Like, it's one of those things that I just never knew. It's like, one of the challenges of being a parent is mm -hmm. trying to come up with things. Fun ways for your kids to eat fun, veggies. Correct. Yeah. Correct. And Brussels sprouts Stop. are like on the bottom of the list. Like, I don't want Brussels sprouts. Yeah. Get them away for now. I will say, over the last decade or so, Brussels sprouts have skyrocketed in they popularity. Have. So they're like a social norm. Mm -hmm. um, and there's so many creative approaches to doing them. But we're going to do them with this little um, oh, this medley beautiful, of flavor. We have great flavors. So let's go over these beautiful flavors. Yes. We have sesame oil. Mm. We have ginger. We have garlic. We have scallion. Um, Asian inspired items. Asian inspired. There, yeah. Yep. GGS is what that's called ginger, garlic, scallion. Ooh. Then I have this beautiful crushed chili paste here that's going to mm. add. It's the pow of the Kung or the Kung of the power or okay. whatever it is. But it's really good. <laughs> Soy sauce. A little bit of ketchup, actually, for the viscosity and bind it huh. together. A little rice vinegar. Some Aleppo pepper, which is like a nice chili pepper. And then fresh flavors like like uh, ba uh, uh, mint yes. and, and crushed peanuts and all this other stuff. It's going to be spectacular. Lightly roasted Brussels sprouts. They're unbelievable. Unbelievable. And the only thing I would say, if you admit, if you need have like a nut allergy, you can just take the peanuts off. Get them out still of here. make the rest of the recipe. It's just as good. Okay. It's just as good. Peanuts are nice. They have a little me. texture, but you don't want them. Get them out. I say keep them in because it's delicious. Keep them in or... We'll show you how to make this Kung Pao Brussels sprouts in just a bit. <laughs> While the Roadshow Kitchen is undergoing a facelift, KCC and E is uh, kind enough to let us use They're their very kitchen. Kind. They're this very is kind beautiful, out here. right? Yes, yes. And yeah. we, got, we got Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts. All right, so listen, these are like. The, this is like, you're going to jump for joy with okay. these Brussels sprouts. These are so good. So I have that sesame oil in mm -hmm. there. That's very fragrant. I very nutty. Right. Adds a lot of complexity. And we're going to start by making our Kung Pao sauce. So some chopped ginger, okay, and then some chopped garlic. So a few standard um, ingredients in this sauce. A little bit of chopped oh, scallion. Already that smells fantastic. Yeah. Well, ginger Woo. is like... Oh my gosh! How do you how do you top that? It's it's one of those like sweet flavors that when it hits your nose or when right. it hits your palate, it's just so clean and so fun. And so we're gonna let that saute there for just a minute, will. Okay. And then we're gonna get our Brussels sprouts in the oven. So I've got a sheet tray here. Okay. A little baking tray. No, yeah, I know you, you slice these up just a little bit. That's it. Do you usually put anything on the pan, or you don't yep. really have to? Nope. I'm gonna put a little bit of sesame oil there as uh -huh. well, and then I'm gonna put a pinch of kosher salt. And just season that up. And then we're going to go into this uh, 500 degree oven. Got it. And that is going to really char them on the outside and get them soft on the inside. Right. So while that's happening, we're going to add to this sauce here. So I've got a little bit of rice vinegar. Okay. That's going to add a little bit of the acidity. Mm -hmm. This is the spice here that's going to give that Kung Pao a, a little bit of mild heat. Wow, I don't want, it's not going to like blow your Ooh. mind hot. You're not going to be, you know, running for the faucet yep. or anything. But and look at how beautiful that looks already. You got That looks great. I mean, look at look at that, that was, those flavors and those colors and everything just really blending together. So nice. So that's cooking. We're going to hit it with a little bit of soy. And now you see the sauce is very thin, Will. It's very thin, so you need something to help it adhere mm -hmm. to the Brussels sprouts. So I'm going to use some ketchup. All right, so like a spoonful of ketchup. And that'll thicken it up a little It's going to thicken it up. It's okay. going to give it a little bit of viscosity, and you can see... It's already working. Yeah, it's already working. It's working really, really well. Pinch of salt, even though you have soy in there. Okay. A little bit of salt. Now I'm just going right. to let this simmer. So we'll let that simmer for simmer. a little... Simmer. We're going to let the Kung Pao simmer for just a it's little gotta bit. It's got to simmer down. And then we're going to come back. We're going to give this a try, because it already smells delicious. Back to you. Back at KCC and E because the Roadshow Kitchen is uh, is being done over. We have Brussels sprouts, not just any Brussels sprouts, Kung Pao. Hi -ya! Hi -ya! Oh, Kung Pao Brussels sprouts, <laughs> and they are yummy. They are yes, yummy, and they are so roasting. Good. You can smell. Can you smell that? Mm -hmm. That's yes. the little crispy ends 
of these Brussels sprouts sizzling away. Because the oven Look was sizzling away. Now the that's oven what was you so, want. So hot, yes, right, Nick? That's because correct. I know sometimes I've tried to make them in the past, and I, I'm not turning the oven up hot enough. So by yes. the time I get this char, I get mush in the that's middle. Correct, yes. Correct. Yeah. You want char. That's okay. what you want, and you want high heat, mm -hmm. and you want a little bit of texture. You can see that's still very firm in the yep. middle, mm -hmm. but not too firm. So it's like Brussels sprouts can be funky. Yes. Like they can be like, okay, I've been cooking it for a long time. The outside's very charred, but the inside still has like a little hard flavor Which to I it. Which I like. I like, a, I like the, that little bite to it. Yes, I certainly do not mind it. So let's talk about that char and how mm. positive it is. Because mm. if you're looking at it at home, you might be saying, is that a little too crispy? No. You want the char because you want that nutty texture. Okay. And you want that nutty texture, and you also want... Look at how great that looks. Wow. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to put the sauce on, right? And when we sauce these... Take yeah. No, no, I'll take that right there. I'm going to take that right there. We're going to sauce these, and it's going to kind of rehydrate those crispy leaves. Yeah. It's going to... Re and, and all of that, like, um, crispy texture is still going to be in there, but it's not going to be as, you know... As crispy as it may appear. But you still get the taste of that char totally. and that kind of burnt that. flavor. Yes, you want that. And you want those bits of garlic and those bits of ginger. Mm. And what you don't want to do, even though the sauce is delicious, is you don't want to over sauce it. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, you want to have just the right amount of sauce so that it's not swimming in sauce. It becomes too mushy. It becomes too mushy, exactly. Look at That's how. Beautiful. Yeah, I mean, it's so. And again, you know, we're not talking about. Uh, uh, a recipe here that's so complicated and so unapproachable. Right. It's very, very common ingredients. All right. It's things that you probably have at home. And look at that. That's Brussels sprouts right there. Now let's talk about your toppings. Yep. Okay. I've got some of this little crushed chili here. Look at the move. Look at this move. Part. See that? He goes, it goes silky. Yes. It's silky. The it's silky. Yeah. Yeah. The movement. And then we're going to go on with some fresh mint. And now everything oh, here nice. is kind of cooked. Yeah, mint is fabulous. So just a little bit of fresh mint mm -hmm. and then a little bit of chopped peanuts for texture Whoa. and yeah. a little bit of traditional flavor. And that's it. Kung that's Kung it right Kung there. Kung. Okay. That's Kung Pao awesome. Brussels sprouts are a great. Now, this dish right here Okay, mm -hmm. is very vegetarian friendly. Yes. Okay. Good point. You could even go as far as vegan, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, because we really don't have any. There's no butter. There's no chicken broth. There's no milk. No. There's no. There's no nothing right. in here. Yeah. So it's it's roasted with just light oil. Mm -hmm. So it's lean. You know. Yeah. Ketchup is about the only thing I would say that's the high sugar. But like you said, you need it to, to bind. You need it. So and we it's use it not just runny. a little. And for okay. a while, Brussels sprouts would get a bad rap. They had the time. worst rap. Mm. But for now, there's so many different ways you can prepare it, so many different flavors that can be added to it, and I really do love it when it has Thank that you. crispiness on the outside, that jar on the outside. And that's, that's what makes it great. I, yeah. think, I think the stipulation was these boiled little baby cabbages. Yeah, right. that's stink. You know? right, that stink. Yeah, yeah. Right. they yeah. stink. Yeah. Like, you're boiling at home, and your whole house reeks, and you yeah. go into your room later, and right. it's like, <laughs> these are my, I'm having Flashbacks here, guys. <laughs> not, I'm not anymore. Not anymore. No, once not you anymore. get that sauce going, no, I mean, don't they don't they look a okay? They look it delicious. They look awesome. Okay. And like I said, that's one of my favorite things to order love off your menu and, over at uh, Avenue. And I love I love taking something like that, mm -hmm. something so basic, and transforming it and owning it and making it your own and putting yeah. your own positive right. little spin on it. So yep. it's it's great. Well, well, Thank you. An appetizer, you can go. And that's right. Something like that. That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah, vegetables are very very center of the plate now. Right. Yes. You know, this is not it's not just taking a, a back seat. It's not a side dish anymore. Uh -huh. It's not an accompaniment. It's the star of, of yeah. the dish. And this certainly puts Brussels sprouts front and center. And this is nice because, like you said, if you're looking for something to make at home or even something to accompany yeah, other things, yes. it's, right. a new, it's a, maybe a new take on the, uh, having a vegetable on the side. Yeah. It's really good. It's yeah. really good. And I'm telling you. Yeah. You have a lot of people. They're going to be lining up well. They're going to be lining up. <laughs> lining up, baby. <laughs> Can't wait to try them, too. All right. Uh, many of you lining up to get the recipe already. Just go online. It's at Roadshow.com.